Professor Dave and Chegg here, it's time to start looking more closely at classes of organic reactions, namely the four classes we briefly introduced earlier, and we will start by looking at electrophilic addition reactions of alkenes. Let's see what this is all about. As we recall, addition reactions occur when some molecule with a pi bond present, like an alkene, behaves as a nucleophile, and this pi bond reacts with some electrophile, resulting in the addition of two groups to the molecule, one on each of the carbons that were previously participating in the pi bond. For example, here is 2-methylpropene reacting with hydrogen bromide. This will yield 2-bromo-2-methylpropane. Let's go over this very simple mechanism. First, the pi bond acts as a nucleophile and attacks this electron-deficient hydrogen atom, which will act as the electrophile. The pi bond thus coordinates to the hydrogen, producing a new carbon-hydrogen bond, while kicking off a bromide ion and leaving a formal positive charge on the other carbon. This is called a carbocation, and it is sp2 hybridized, thus exhibiting trigonal planar geometry. Then, with a negatively charged bromide ion present in solution that will attack the positively charged carbocation, forming a new carbon-bromine bond and giving us our product. As we can see, the pi bond is now gone, and each carbon that was participating in the pi bond has a new group attached to it, either hydrogen or bromine. An energy diagram for this reaction would clearly depict two steps. First, we have the substrate on the left. Then we have a large activation energy leading up to the first transition state, then dipping down slightly to the high energy carbocation intermediate. This will be the slow step due to the large energy barrier. Then we have a very tiny activation energy to get to the second transition state as the bromide begins to coordinate, then going way back down to get to the products, which are very stable, given that the whole process is exergonic overall. Electrophilic addition can be done with a number of halogens, either in the form of other acids like HCl, or with separate substances acting as the acid and then the nucleophile, like using this acid and then a separate source of iodide ions, or some acid and then allowing water to coordinate. In any of these cases, the pi bond is coordinating to a proton, and then something else attacks the carbocation intermediate, so we can call these reactions hydrohalogenation, where H and X are added, or acid-catalyzed hydration, where H and OH are added. But no matter what is added, they all follow the same general mechanism. And with that, we have introduced our first class of organic reactions, electrophilic addition, and elucidated the mechanism behind it. Professor Dave for Chegg. See you next time.